yeah not feeling like jogging today feeling having a lazy day today but I still decided I'm just gonna get like a, a six kilometer walk done you know to make sure at least I get some amount of workout in but whoever said that you know waking up in the morning is amazing or you can get used to it <laughs> I can never tend to get used to getting up early in the morning it's really difficult it's like studying in a way because the starting bit is the most difficult part of it when I wake up I tend to keep snoozing off you know but when I just get off my bed and then when I come to a place like this and walk it just refreshes me and wakes me up so I'm having some king coconut to start off my day with this stuff is packed with nutrients and vitamins so I try to put this the first thing in the morning mmm it's yummy all right guys so I've just got home from the workout wait I need to go get my coffee first coffee It's early in the morning and I want to try and get some morning session of studying done. You know, that's my priority number one. I get that out of the way so I can get everything else done. So, yeah, let's go do that. Um, so I did like around two to three hours of studies. Uh, but I still have a shit lot to study anyways because you know when you're studying for boards you have to study study and study but let me just quickly show you how am I studying you know just to show you the way I actually prefer studying and I think it's the most interesting way to study so if you can see I'm mainly doing questions as you can see like I'm trying to do questions yep so the way I like to do it is I would do questions first and see if I get it right or wrong if I do get it right, and if I know the reason that I got it right, then perfect. If I do not know the reason, I go and if it was a fluke, I go and research and study. So I do the questions first and then I go to theory. I don't do questions, I do theory. That actually makes it much more interesting because I'm actually solving clinical scenarios instead of just studying boring theory information that I need to absorb. And that, is, that I find is the best method for me. And that's actually how I study for PLAB as well. And now I'm studying now. Uh, if any of you guys who are studying for boards, I think you should try this method as well. It will make your studying so much more interesting and you will retain a lot of information. I'm pretty sure. Okay, enough said. Uh, I'm gonna go to the gym, you know, get some workout in. Let's go. All right, guys. So I started the workout with pull-ups. I did 10 reps for three sets. Next I moved on to the bench press and as you can see I'm using low weight so my goal was to make sure I do the form correct that way I don't injure myself and I did three sets again of these for 10 reps. Next I moved on to some dumbbell presses as you can see weights are still low focus full range of motion and making sure the form is correct. Then I did some flies and flies. I'm very careful about using low weight over here so that I can completely contract my pecs. Also did like another three sets for 10 reps each. Then I decided to finish off my chest by doing some push-ups. I did around three sets for 10 reps each. And this really helped me burn out the last bit of energy on my chest. All right, done with chest, let's move to biceps. I started off with some barbell curls for three sets of 10 reps each. Then I moved on to the dumbbell curls and as you can see I'm twisting my wrist at the end to make sure I get my contraction completely. This really helps to peak the biceps. I did another three sets for 10 reps each. And I decided to finish up the biceps by doing some hammer curls. As you can see weight was still low 20 to 25 pounds and I focused on contraction as much as I can. I did three sets of 10 reps of each. And I'm done. Alrighty, I'm back at home. And uh, I'm gonna go through a little bit of rant. And if you guys don't really like to listen to help 
rants and stuff then just fast forward it a little bit and then uh, you can continue with the video but the quick thing that i want to say is that if you understand a student lifestyle or study is lifestyle of a medical student is very sedentary most of the time i'm right over here or i'm at a class i'm actually sitting down and taking down notes so it's very sedentary and it's very bad for your health it's very bad for your posture and because someone like me or any doctor medical student who is actually in the health field i think he should not just be prescribing medications to people but he should be leading by examples and the first thing that you could be doing is taking care of your own health and that's exactly what my purpose of today's video also was to show you how i take care of myself i always try to keep my days active and uh, if you understand like some people say oh i don't really like to go to the gym that is fine going to gym does not mean health i go to the gym because of strength training because you know strength is one very important part of your health but there's so, so many other things that you can do you can go for walks you guys may or may not know i'm a big skateboarding guy let me show you my skateboard there it is that's my skateboard that's my baby so yes i skateboard a little bit as well and it's an amazing sport i love it and at the same time it keeps me fit so that's very important guys whether you are in the medical field you're a businessman whoever you are make sure you take care of your health make sure if your life is sedentary make it active start playing a sport start starts playing squash or something and be healthy that's the first thing that you need to do medication and drugs and all comes later first thing that you need to do is take care of your health prevention is always better than cure with that being said i need to get back to studies there's a ton of work that needs to be done it's still afternoon so i'm going to get to that let's go And so it's uh, times almost 4:30 right now, and I need to go to a class. I actually take a coaching class as well. I go and study extra stuff as well. Something like a class for to clear your board exams. So I'm gonna go there now. Um, I hope I'm gonna take the camera, but I'm not sure if I can film inside because the people over there they're not very comfortable with cameras being on their face. So if I can film, I'll film. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys after the class. Let's go. Yes, so I was not able to record, as I said, you know, the class, <clears throat> the people weren't very comfortable with me recording the stuff. But uh, I did go through some really interesting stuff today. We learned a little bit more about ischemic heart disease and we went into a valvular heart disease. Most of the stuff I knew, but there was certain stuff that was new to me. Plus, actually, honestly speaking, like these classes that I go for, I really like the way of teaching. Like even though like I have studied this in medical school, like they give you certain tips that actually help you retain a lot of information, which is great. So I'm fine paying for it and actually learning. So I'm learning a lot. So we learned a little bit interesting about the JVP and that's exactly what I will be doing tonight. I'm going to do a little bit of research. I'm not going to go too much into it because I just don't want to like I'm too tired. I don't want to study a lot. So I'm just going to do a little bit more research on the JVP and learn it bef uh, right now so that way I don't have to learn it later. And probably maybe I'll just watch a movie and go to sleep. Well, that was my day, guys. If you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below and ask me any questions if you want. And follow me on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.